We have an ongoing case about uh, uh, down country people, teachers, with the Teacher Service Commission. They recently had a demonstration at the TSC where they said they were not going back to Northeastern. It reached a stage where TSC threatened them with sacking. A few of them boarded the vehicles and went back to their stations. Majority stayed put. Then the TSC wrote a letter, first of all, interdicting them. Then because of political pressure, this, uh, this uh, TSC reinstated those teachers and gave them posting letters to go to the counties that they had abandoned. Then from there, they, after they, they, they were given those letters, they went to the same counties and they were reposted to the very same schools that they had been working. We have to understand that this is our sons and daughters. We have to understand that working for the civil service is a calling. You'd find that uh, a civil servant, what a civil servant earns is very little. I was talking to somebody and he asked me to tell him the salary of a police inspector. When I told him, he was shocked and said he did not even expect a constable to have that. By law, civil servants are not supposed to do business. You are supposed to get that small salary and you are not supposed to supplement it unless you are supplementing it from your home place doing your own ngombe and shamba. And you'll find that apart from assistant chiefs, chiefs, assistant chiefs and chiefs, and also teachers, very few professions you'll work in your home area for five continuous years. But that is the whole profession. Let us talk about teaching and northeastern. My father, we, when I was still young, I grew up in three different towns, among several towns. I grew up in Isiolo. I grew up in Wajia. I grew up in Mandera. If I add those years, I would say those come, they come to around six years. I, I joined the police and worked in West Pocot for five years. If you add that six years, that is 11. Then I worked in Northeastern, that is Habaswain, Ramu and Mandera for another four years. Nafika ngapi? I've even mentioned Six plus five, that is eleven, plus four, fifteen years. By the time I was thirty years, half of my life had been spent in all this time. My mother's youngest son a police officer. He was born in Wajia. I have only one daughter. She was born in Mandera. Why am I saying this? I'm saying that I know that I know the hardship areas. You call it hardship area, me I call them home because I'm used to that place. As we speak now, the government decided to face, to face off P1. Those who are my age and older than me knows that 
we used to have P4, P3, P2, P1. Anybody completing school in standard four, he would start off as a P4. Anybody completing school at primary level, P3. Uh, anybody who completed school in Form 2, Kenya Junior Secondary, was a P2. And anybody completing Form 4 would be a P1. And anybody completing Form 6 that goes to a TTC was an S1. So P stands for primary, S stands for secondary. We are phrasing off P's. Anybody going to a TTC now is going for a diploma in education, primary education. But then again, the government has silently reintroduced P1 for people from hardship areas. Because they say that uh, the qualifications for you to join a TTC as a, a primary school teacher, you have to have a C plane. Not even a C minus, a C plane. Now, going to those areas, Trukana, West Pokot, uh, and Northeastern, among others, to get a pass, people with C, there are very few. And I can tell this people say that in Nanza Konga, you have a If you are watching this, this video, Ukitaka kuwa entertained, go to Smart Joker. I have to call it the way it is. Of course, this time I'm not annoyed. Uh, we have a problem with the Somalis. Sincerely. And NI NCIC should go to Northeastern and talk to the Somalis. One, even before P P1 was phrased out, the selection of police, security, uh, KDF, whatever, you name them, education, you'd find that in other parts of Kenya, the minimum entry and the minimum entry for Northeastern has always been below. My question is, Kwani mutapembelezo hadilini? Do you mean that, okay, you are Muslims, but mungekuwa wa kristo ni gewauliza. Kwani yesu wa kirudi? But even the Quran says, uh, Isa bin Mariam would come and judge people the last day. Yeah, I've remembered. So, nauliza, <laughs> afti, do you people are waiting when the day Isa bin Mariam, that is Jesus, atakuja kujaji watu, so that ata nyinyi pia makosenyu mnajajiwa kidogo because you come from hardship area. No. You have to reach a place and also tight up. People from Northeastern have to pass exams. By virtue of, if the if police, they are selecting police and they want a C plus, uh, and you go with a C minus, kwanza hiyo ni mapendeleo. Why can't you get that mark like what anybody got so that you'll be proud that Atakani litoka desert place, but I managed to get like the other person? Just like orphans. Orphans wana pata B, where they even get A minus and go to the university. And that is why we tunaenda tunaanza kwa changia pesa. We have to stop a system where any selection in government, people from hardship area wanna pay a lower entry point. That is one thing. The other thing, people from Northeastern, Wazungu walidanganya your grandparents. They walidanganya your grandparents. Nyinyi si wa Africa, your Arabs, your whatever. Eh? Na tena, for, for those who, 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 nyele ngumu who have stayed in Northeastern, you'll find that warriors believe that your government employees, if you have ever gone to the Gulf, what our kids are facing, domestic workers in the Gulf are facing, is what nyele ngumu face in Northeastern. You just believe that these are people from less developed country who have come to be our fanyikazi and whatever, and that is even worse than, if you ask me, worse than Shifter and worse than Al-Shabaab. The attitude you people have. First of all, we, in other areas, someone graduates 
with a Bachelor of Education in, a, in a teaching uh, or, a, a diplo or even a P1, stays for a few. That is why you hear when TSC is employing people, they look for people who graduated two to three years back. They don't take a fresh one. So there is a possibility of somebody spending a year or more after completing the TTC without a job. In fact, those are the people who now rush to know this time. Because if you are being treated the way these people are treated in Garissa, Mandera, and Wajia, and there's a vacancy in the DEB next to you, you'd go for that DEB. So first of all, encourage your children to go to the TTC. And then those who have gone there, the warriors who have gone to the TTC and have completed the TTC. You know, from time immemorial, once you have completed TTC, priority is given to your home district. Now with the county government, even things become more prominent, if not more worse. And then you find that if you don't come, if you don't come from the operation area, the regulation says that you work there for three or so years. Me, I spend my three nikakata nikasema nyongezeo. But if you spend three or more years, you are eligible for transfer out of that place, preferably, especially to those professions like teaching, you are taken to your home district. But other professions like security, your home district or your home county is the last place you'll be taken. So you find that after you have completed the three years with that warrior, he wants, he or she wants to, to be transferred to Kiambu. Now, nothing wrong, because I know there is a way Poholu, who is teaching in uh, Ramdimtu, is teaching at Biamado, is teaching at Abakore, is teaching at uh, Shantabak, is teaching at Abaswen, is teaching at Dif. Kulamawe, Modogashe, we have Wepoholo teaching there. So there is nothing wrong with Abdigare teaching in Kiambu or Halima teaching in Webuye. But why should they teach in those areas? When, where they come from, there is a shortage of teachers. This thing can only be solved uh, when we have a proper take, we have very many, we have very many warriors who are even qualified for, to go for diploma in education, primary section. Take them, let them go and teach their home areas. After all, ask any police officer, ask any KDF person, ask any other agriculture officer, he'll tell you or she will tell you that they admire chiefs the and assistant chiefs and they admire teachers they don't pay rent for the houses you just stay in your house when schools open you don't enter a vehicle and go to mandera to start teaching so the only medication is for warriors to have a marshal plan those we have a lot of warriors in Isili who are not even doing business and they can become good teachers. Let them go to the TTC. Let the next intake of Diploma Teachers College have, have the people from those areas. After they complete, they go to those schools. Even having Kina Nyokavi teaching Mandera, you'll find that even those schools, they have a shortage of teachers. Uh, when I was working in Turquel area, we, have a, we had a school in Sarmach where all teachers were UTs, including the head teacher. And when the head teacher went for a TTC, he was number one. Why? Because what they were being taught is what he had been doing that. So, after Eskabarat, Wafien, please allow yourselves to be employed as teachers in your home areas.